Okay, Gavin, good morning. Um, sorry about the video thing. I was hoping that you could get them through email, but I'll just definitely put them on YouTube now just to help you out a little bit more. And I'll send you the link. So let's take a look at chapter three, test B. Okay, so the first question says, determine whether the function, whether the relation is a function. If the relation is a function, determine whether the function is linear or nonlinear. Okay, so... The first thing that we would look at as we look at one through four is for this one, number one, if, is if they both, if X and Y both have a same value as each other. So that means a point would run through both of them. So say like for number one, it was zero, negative eight. Then say you had four, negative eight then it, the fun it wouldn't be a function because you have two negative eights as a y and then a slope would run through the same point so that would make it not a function so we see that um it is a function because there is no y values that are the same there's no x values that are the same and that's the same for uh number two there's no x values that's the same and no y values that's the same so now for number one, we'll look at, we'll see that um, it is a function. So then we'll go further in saying, to find out if it's linear or nonlinear, if it's linear, the y, as the x increases, the y will increase by a constant number as well. So for the x, it increases by 2. So it goes 0, 2, 4, and 6. However, the y doesn't go up by a constant variable. It goes from negative 8 to negative 3, so which is plus 5. And then it goes from negative 3 to 3, which is plus 6. So therefore, it is a nonlinear equation because it's not a constant number. So what I mean by constant number, if it was, if it was negative 3 and then it went to negative, I mean, if it's negative 8, then it went to negative 3. So plus 5, and then if it went to negative 3, then to 2, then from 2 to 7, then it would be a linear equation. But since it went to negative 3 to 3, it is a nonlinear equation because it's not a constant number. All right? So now we look at number 2 the same way. There is no x, and x values that's the same. There's no y values that's the same. So we know it's a function. So now we have to determine if it's linear or nonlinear. Okay? So we see that x goes up by 1 every time. So that's constant. And then y values, they look constant as well. Because you got negative 4 to negative 2. That's adding 2. Then you got negative 2 to 0. That's adding 2 as well. Then you got 0 to 2. That's adding 2 as well. So you are adding 2, which makes it constant. So now you have a linear function. So number two is a linear function, but number one is a nonlinear function. All right. So now we'll look at the equations. So now with the equations, you'll see that you have 2y minus 4 equals 10. So when we look at equations, we see that if it has an x value on one side, if it has a value on one side and then a y on the other side, it can be written as y equals mx plus b. So if it can be written as y equals mx plus b, then you will have a, a function. You will have a function automatically. But if it can't be in the form of y equals mx plus b, then you don't have a function. So this one, two, uh, the 2y minus 4 becomes a little tricky because these are known as um, linear unknown x functions so when you don't have an x but you have a value on that side it will still be a linear function the x would just be zero so it'll still be a linear function but the x would just be zero for, so for number three you would have it would be a linear the answer would be a linear function because x is unknown, so, but you have a linear function.
Okay. Then moving on to number four. Number four, you have 2xy equals negative 8. So we see that we have an x and a y value, and we have another value on the other side. So we know that it's a function. Okay, so we know that it's a function. But do we know if it's linear or nonlinear? So we should know that since we have a... So what we would do for this one, what I would do is you would do, you would write down 2xy equals negative 8. Sorry about the handwriting, but negative 8. So then you would try to simplify. You want to get y over there by itself. So now you do divide it by 2x because they're um, tied together by multiplication. So you do divide it by 2x. What will give you y equals, then you got negative 8 divided by 2. So it give you a negative 4x. I'll give you a negative 4x. And then you will see that the, the b, it, there is no other value, but the b would be 0. So you know you have a function with that. So you know that the equation is a function. However, to see if it's nonlinear and linear, what you would do with the equation is plug in different values for x that are kind of apart. So you'll do x equals, um, let's see, negative 2, x equals 0, x equals 2, x equals 4. Then you'll write a graph. You'll do a graph. So we'll do variables of two. So each line is worth two. So two, four, two, four, two. Four. So each tick mark is worth two. Each little line is worth two. So now you would plot these. So you know you got. So what you'll do is put these x's within that equation. So for the first one, you got y equals negative 4, and then our first value is negative 2. So you'll put a negative 2 in for x plus 0. And then negative 4 times negative 2, two negatives multiplied by each other will give you a positive, so 8. So you got y equals 8 plus 0. So 8 plus 0 is just 8. So you got y equals 8. So our first point would be 